This is a demonstration of HD Explorer. HD Explorer is a neural navigation software made by Soterix Medical that can be run on any PC, whether it be a desktop or a laptop. There are three steps to use this program. Let's begin. Step 1. Note that the interface has three sections. The control panel on the left, the help section on the right, and the displayed results in the middle. The help section in the control panel can be minimized and the entire application resized as needed. Select the subject that you would like to explore for current flow. In the control panel, the desired head model can be selected from three different menus, adult head, standard head, and stroke patients. The base HD Explorer version comes preloaded with three adult heads and one standard head. There are two electro densities, 93 and 332, in the adult male one model. The higher density option can be used to simulate sponges. Let's select adult male 2 and the 93 electro density option. Once the head is selected, the different segmentation masks can be viewed in the anatomy viewer in the middle. The skin, bone, CSF, gray matter, and white matter of the head can be seen in 3D. You can zoom, move, change views, and rotate using the keyboard and mouse. See the help section on the right for instructions. Selecting lock orientation will lock the viewing angle so that you can visualize the different masks at the same orientation. Step 2. In the second step, you design your own electrode montage. Two different layouts are available by which electrodes, their individual current magnitude, and polarity can be selected. In the drop-down menu in the Layout tab, there are two options. Flexible Layout allows you to manually select desired electrodes and assign current and polarity. The option Uniform assigns the same current to a group of electrodes. For example, let's create a typical 4x1 HD TDCS montage. This can be done using both flexible and uniform layouts. Let's begin with flexible. We will be using a total of five electrodes with one center electrode surrounded by four returns. First, select the location of the center electrode in the 2D electrode layout. In this case, we will select CZ. Now, enter the current for the center electrode at its location. I'm going to enter 2 milliamps. To the right of the 2D electrode layout, the 3D electrode layout can be seen. The electrode that is selected will turn from green to red in the 3D view. Now, select the first of the four outer electrodes forming a ring. I will start with FC1 and I will enter negative 0.5 milliamps as the current. Notice that with each electrode selection, the 3D electrode layout changes, showing you the selected electrode in red and the underlying anatomy. The 2D and 3D electrode layouts can be resized simply by dragging the white line divider separating the two left or right. Let's select FC2 and CP1 and enter negative 0.5 milliamps through each of them. Now select the fourth and final outer electrode. Let's choose CP2. You will also notice that AC Explorer automatically enters the amount of current with correct polarity in its final return electrode. This is because the total current in has to equal the total current out due to current conservation. Now let's try a uniform layout. First, let's select the total amount of current we will use. In this case, we will again use 2 milliamps. We will use one center anode and four surrounding cathodes as before. With the default arbitrary selection method, click on the anode button and select where you want the anode on the scalp. We will use CZ as the anode. Now click on the cathode button and select the four cathodes you want to use. In this case, we will select FC1, FC2, CP2, and CP1. Notice that under the uniform setting, AC Explorer will automatically set the amount of current at the cathodes. Step 3. Explore Current Flow. Just press Explore Current Flow. AC Explorer will now allow visualization of current flow through the entire head in both 2D and 3D. The default view is 2D. Here you can select to view the electric field, the current direction vector, and the subject MRI individually or all together.
You can navigate through the head by simply clicking around the 2D space or move slice by slice at a 1mm resolution by using the sliders in the control panel. The selected field intensity value in the control panel shows the field intensity inside the open white circle. This can be used to determine the field at any voxel on the head. The field intensity scale can be adjusted as needed using the buttons at the top and bottom of the bar to better depict current flow patterns. To explore current flow in 3D, just click the 3D option in the control panel. The model can be rendered either as a solid surface or a transparent surface. The solid surface is the default view. You can zoom, change view, move, and rotate the 3D view as before using your mouse and keyboard. By clicking Display Cutting Plane, a plane will be shown in the rendering. The X and Y angles, as well as the distance from the center of this plane, can be adjusted using the scales to define a precise location. To cut the 3D volume at the plane and explore current flow inside the head, simply click Cut and the head will be cut at that plane. If you want to undo the cut, just click Undo Cut. By selecting Instant Cut, the plane will cut the head volume in real time as you adjust the cutting plane. The field intensity scale can also be adjusted here in the same way as the 2D view. Now let's take a look at the transparent surface rendering. As you can see, the Opacity Function section allows you to set the opacity of four different electric field ranges, independently of one another. The ranges are determined by splitting the maximum electric field intensity value on the color bar into four divisions. For example, for viewing the volume of the brain where the top 50% of maximum electric field is induced, you would set opacity to 1 in the last two ranges while setting opacity to 0 in the other ranges. If at any point you want to save what you are viewing, click on the camera icon and save your image. If you want a higher resolution image, you can increase the resolution up to 6 before saving the image. If you want to explore different electrode placements, just repeat these steps. You can adjust the number of electrodes, individual current, and polarity at each electrode to continue to explore different options. Let's go through one more example. Going back to step 1, let's select the adult male 1, but select the 332 electrode density option. For step 2, let's select uniform. Then select the total current that you want to use across all electrodes. In this case, let's choose 1.5 milliamp and choose pad configuration in the selection menu. Click on the anode drop down menu and select C3. Note how HD Explorer simulates a sponge pad at C3 location by selecting 9 electrodes. Then select the cathode and select FP2. HD Explorer will again simulate a sponge pad at that location. Note that the current is split evenly amongst electrodes in each respective sponge. As before, just click on Explore Current Flow to explore 2D and 3D current flow. You will see that what we have created is exactly the standard M1 SO montage used in conventional TDCS. In this way, you can use HD Explorer to create any HD TDCS or conventional TDCS montage. HD Explorer, another innovation only from Ceterix Medical. HD Explorer is optimized to work with Ceterix Medical family of HD TDCS and TDCS stimulators. For more information, visit us at www.soterixmedical.com.